let me introduce you to the custom Microsoft SQ1 chipset. Hey, what's up guys? Kiva Gordon back with another video and today we're going to go through a simple and brief explanation of the Microsoft SQ1 chip. Now firstly, the SQ1 is an ARM-based processor made by Microsoft in collaboration with Qualcomm designed for the Surface Pro X. Now if you're wondering what's an ARM processor, it's simply a small processor with reduced instructions that gives good performance for mobile devices while consuming less power which basically gives improved battery life now that we've got that out of the way let's dig into the meat now the sq1 is not an entirely new or different processor it's actually more of an hybrid processor which is based off the snapdragon 8 CX which has incremental updates. Now for these incremental updates the thing that sets the SQ1 apart from the 8CX is it features a Adreno 685 GPU rather than a 680 which is an incremental update as I said but it makes sense as to why it's on the Surface Pro X since it's a 2-in-1 device running for Windows. Now, to get into why these incremental updates would make sense for the Pro X is it brings to the table a 2.1 teraflop GPU complete performance, which I might add is two times more than the integrated GPU found in the 8th gen Intel processors or even the Snapdragon 850. It also has 9 teraflops of AI performance. Moreover, the 685 supports only the DirectX 12 API, which is gonna be kind of a downgrade or more like a obstacle since a majority of OpenGL games that are available for ARM devices is out of the equation on this one. Now Qualcomm says that the graphic capabilities are only exclusive to the SQ1 and won't be seen on any of the company's mainstream offerings. For workload performance, the SQ1 offers 8 cores that can reach a peak clock speed of up to 3 GHz. The SQ1 also boasts 3 times more performance per watt compared to the 15 watt quad core Intel Catholic CPU found in the Surface Pro 6. Now that is wild like for an ARM based processor right there. But however, how evident this actually becomes in the real world will only eventually be known when the Surface Pro X is eventually released. Although the SQ1 performs most tasks within a 7 watt TDP window, in theory it can boost for a short period of time for up to 15 watts if needed. In theory, this is not evident in real world situations yet. This is just based on what's on paper. Now that's basically a simple explanation of the Microsoft SQ1 processor and its capabilities. Aside from this, uh, the SQ1 would also provide LTE support for the Microsoft Surface Pro X, which most ARM based processors provide their devices that they're in. So that is a nice thing to have since you won't really have to rely on Wi Fi as well. Tell me what you guys think about the Microsoft SQ1 processor in the comments. Uh, like this video, share, and you also know what to do. And I will see you guys in the next video.